Hey everyone, Mark here from CNC Sourced. In today's video, I want to do a detailed comparison between CNC spindles and routers so you can decide which is the better choice for your DIY CNC build or upgrade. There's a lot to cover, so let's get started. The spindle is the part of a CNC machine that holds and rotates your cutting tool or bit. Now, many hobby CNC machines actually use regular old woodworking routers from companies like Makita or Dewalt rather than a real spindle. These routers are super common among home and garage CNC builds because they are affordable and easy to get. But how exactly do they compare to a professional spindle? There are some key differences you need to understand. First, let's talk about the motors. The most important difference between routers and spindles is the type of electric motor inside. Routers have what's called a universal motor. This is the same kind of motor you'd find in an ordinary kitchen appliance, like a blender or vacuum cleaner. Universal motors are designed for light, occasional use. On the other hand, CNC spindles have heavy-duty three-phase induction motors. These are the hardcore industrial motors found in high-end machine tools and factory equipment designed to run all day under heavy loads. Because of this drastically different motor design, spindles beat routers hands down when it comes to torque generation. They can supply strong, consistent torque across a wide speed range. Routers only deliver their peak power rating at one optimal speed. Any faster or slower, and available power drops off quick. Their torque tanks at low speeds. Spindles also maintain precise speed control. The CNC controller can vary the RPMs to match the demands of the job. Routers only allow manually selecting from a few preset speed levels using a dial. In terms of durability, spindles are built for the long haul, with a duty cycle of 80% or more in many cases. Expect 8,000 hours annually. Routers are only designed for occasional use, with brushes and bearings needing replacement every few years. Spindles are also much quieter thanks to not having all that internal metal-on-metal -metal contact. Routers can be irritatingly loud, especially at startup. Consider hearing protection. Now for accuracy, spindles have lower runout, which is a measure of how much the axis of rotation wobbles. Less runout allows them to hold very tight machining tolerances. Routers work fine for soft materials like wood, where a few extra thousandths of an inch doesn't matter. But spindles excel at precision metal work. So with all these advantages, why would anyone use a router in their CNC instead of a spindle? There are a few good reasons, actually. First is cost. Industrial spindles run over $1,000 in many cases. Routers can be picked up for under $200 on sale. That's a huge saving for hobbyists. Routers are also plug and play. Just hook them up to a wall outlet and flip the switch. Spindles require purchasing and carefully installing a special control device called a VFD. Finally, routers are super lightweight, putting much less load on the motion components than a heavy-duty spindle. This matters for smaller or DIY CNC machines. So when should you choose each option? Here are some recommendations. For hobby CNC projects in softer materials like wood, plastic, and foam, a router is great. It works fine for lighter-duty home shops running just a few hours a day. Just get a variable speed model and manually reduce RPMs for heavy cuts. But for professional work, machining metals, or running high production, a heavy-duty spindle really is worth the investment. You need that power and precision for serious CNC tasks. Consider a water-cooled model for extended use. All right, guys, that's a full rundown on CNC spindles versus routers. Let me know if you have any other questions. I invite you to read our complete in-depth article comparing spindles and routers over on the CNC sourced website. Just click the link in the video description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.